Hi everyone, welcome back. For those of you that are new here, hi and welcome. My name is Laureen and in today's video I'm going to be trying out a bunch of e.l.f. products that are not necessarily brand new, but they're newer. They're new to me. They're products I've never tried before and I've been really excited to get my hands on them and put them to the test. So we got some bronzers and blushes and primers. So I really hope you guys are excited for this video just as much as I am. So if you are interested in seeing everything that I am going to be testing out today then first if you haven't already done so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos from me and let's get right into it so I went ahead and filled in my brows and did most of my eye makeup because I wasn't really using elf products for that part so I just went ahead did that off camera so we can just get right to the good stuff so starting out I'm gonna be using the elf power grip primer this is supposed to go on clear I know it looks a little green I think that's just the box but a few things about the this primer so everything that you'll be seeing here I purchased off of Ulta's website but I'll give you the comparison between Elf's actual website and Ulta's website so Ulta website this retails for $10 it is a gel based primer and it's made with hyaluronic acid so that is so nice on Elf's actual website for some reason this retails for $24 that is a huge jump I don't know why that's pretty insane to me actually now this has been compared to the milk makeup hydro grip primer and that one retails for $34. So if this one is comparable to the Milk Makeup Primer, that's a huge saving. So $10 versus $34, pretty nice in my opinion. Next, we're gonna be using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I am in the shade Bronzed Belle. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be too dark for me. We will find out. But this retails for $7 on Ulta's website. On e.l.f.'s website, it is $14. On e.l.f.'s website, there's five shades. But on Ulta's website, there's seven shades. So I don't know about that. I don't know why that is, but it is buildable. It is supposed to transform from a cream product to a semi matte powder finish. It is infused with argan oil and vitamin E. Argan oil will help moisturize your skin and vitamin E will help nourish and soften the skin. So I have some notes here if you're wondering like what the hell is she looking at? I'm just looking at my notes. I didn't want to forget any good details. Next, I will be trying out the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I am in the shade Tahiti. Now I mentioned this in a previous video. I felt like this might be a little too red for me, but we will see. We're going to test it out and see. This is also infused with argan oil and vitamin E. Also, same thing. This retails for $7 on Ulta's website. Ulta has five shades. Where Elf's website, it retails for $14 and has seven shades. Again, weird and same thing it is buildable and it's supposed to go from a cream product to a powder with a semi matte finish next we have the blush and glow quad powder blush palette these shades just looked so pretty to me sorry my ring light is kind of getting in the way and being a little little annoying and distracting but on Ulta's website this retails for nine dollars and on elf's website this retails for 16 again insane these can also be used as eyeshadows so that is nice that you kind of can use them either as a blush or that top one almost can kind of look like a bronzer to me depending on your skin tone but blush eyeshadow so that's really nice my plan is to try to use this on top of the uh, putty blush so we'll see how that goes first then we're gonna be trying out the big mood mascara in the shade black this retails for eight dollars on Ulta's website 14 on elf's website on elf's website they have the shades black and deep brown whereas on Alta's website they have black deep brown and pitch black so that would be nice I wish I would have got this in pitch black <laughs> now this is infused with jojoba wax so it will help to hold your lashes a lot better then I got some brushes well a couple brushes I've mentioned this in a past video but I got the brush for the putty bronzer this retailed for four dollars on Alta's website and ten dollars on elf's website then we have the contouring brush and and this retailed for $7 on Ulta's website, but for whatever reason, I couldn't find it on Elf's website. So I don't know if it's like discontinued or they don't carry it anymore, but I couldn't find it on their website. So yeah, those are all the products that I'm gonna be using today. So let's get started. Okay, so of course, once again, my toddler refuses to nap, which 
is crazy because the last three days in a row she napped and I knew it. I was like, as soon as I try to film a video, when I need her to nap, she won't nap. But if you guys hear anything in the background, I apologize. She's in here with me. I have my protein iced coffee because I feel like I'm definitely gonna need it now. Also, I am missing part of the Johnny Depp trial to film this video, so that's how you know I'm serious. But let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the primer because I want to apply it to my face and let it sit for a little bit before I go in with my other products. Just for reference, directions say apply it evenly to face before makeup using your fingertips to pet into skin. The warmth of your fingertips will help the product melt into your skin for an even application. Allow 30 seconds to set before applying makeup. So that's what I was saying. I wanted to, I want to let it set for a little bit before I just go in with my foundation and stuff. I feel like it's going to come squirting out. So far, that is what it looks like. I don't know how many pumps, I guess it's just kind of your discretion. So let's do yeah. this. Now, I've never used a gel based primer before that I can think of. It is like kind of tacky at first, but I'm thinking once it dries down, it won't feel like that. So I didn't apply a bunch because I don't know. I'm just kind of patting it in right now. Okay, we're going to let that do its thing. While that's setting, we're going to go in with the Big Mood Mascara. Like I was mentioning, I already did my eye makeup, but I saved my mascara for this part. That primer is really sticky on my hands. So I'm assuming like the makeup will stick to it because my hands are so sticky right now. Okay, this is such a like retro bottle, <laughs> but so here is the wand. It's almost kind of like an hourglass shape. So I didn't curl my lashes or anything. I feel like I don't know, do I need more? It doesn't seem very coated. So like I was mentioning, I did not curl my lashes. Okay, my toddler needed me, so back to it. Like I was mentioning, I have not curled my lashes. So I'm just going right in. But what I like to do, because my lashes are long and I always tend to get mascara on my eyelid. So I usually grab like a card and place it here. This is one of my old like business cards from when I did nails. It's not bad actually. My favorite all time mascara like ever, years and years, I've been using probably for 10 years is this. The CoverGirl Lash Blast. Is it volumizing? Yeah, volume waterproof mascara. This is my favorite. No matter what mascara I use, I always go back to that one. So, but this one isn't bad. I think the wand, like the hourglass shape is just really throwing me off because the one on the other one is just like a, just straight. Look at that. See, I put the card down for one second and it happened. Okay, so there is that mascara. Like I said, I, feel, I don't know. I feel like it's clumping for some reason. I don't know if I just got a bad one or something or I just need to play with it a little bit more, but... Also, little trick, when you get, when you do get mascara like that, get a spoolie and make sure it's dried and scrape it right off. Okay, now that that primer is kind of still a little tacky, so I feel like maybe that's a good thing, but I'm gonna go in and apply my foundation. Now this is not an e.l.f. foundation, this is just my favorite Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless, so I'm gonna apply that and then I'll be back to do the rest of the bronzer and blush and all that jazz. So I just realized, I said I was gonna do this off camera but then I was like you probably want to see how this foundation does with this primer so I'm gonna do some of this with you guys so we can see how it does with this primer if you don't apply your foundation like this I feel like you probably waste a lot of foundation <laughs> I used to apply it to the back of my hand because I felt like that's the cute way to do it but it's not the realistic way to do it I end up wasting so much product so now I'm just gonna start by just kind of patting this in <laughs> Layla, what are you doing? Halloween. 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 So, so far I don't think like any major differences than what I'm used to. Other than like it is going on nicely. Not having like any issues. Look. 
<laughs> You're so cute. Now I am just gonna add a little bit more, but I'm just gonna apply it right to the sponge. Now this is a damp sponge, so I don't know if that makes a difference with this primer. It shouldn't though. So it does go on nicely. Like I'm not running into any issues. Yeah, it's definitely going on like the longer I wait, I feel like the nicer the foundation is looking. I don't know, I think I may have found my new favorite primer. I feel like I always judge by my nose, depending on how my nose looks. That's how I know <laughs> and so far it looks good looks okay now for concealer we're gonna be using the elf hydrating camel concealer this is in the shade light sand this isn't anything new I've picked up but it is one of my favorite concealers and I use it all the time so I figured I would include it in this video since this is majority of an elf video now here's why I usually don't like to use cream products because right now I need to set my under eye if I don't it's going to crease really bad and look awful so I'm gonna do that anyways and and see how it works can I like set my under eye without it interfering with the bronzer and the blush part usually you know setting powder falls you know kind of down so we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes okay so I have my under eye set now let's go in with bronzer so like I was mentioning this is in the shade bronzed bell and when I first got it I was like oh my god that looks way too dark but because it is buildable I'm thinking maybe it won't go on as dark as it looks here so let's see and for that we're gonna be using the putty bronzer brush so here's what that brush looks like pretty much an angled <laughs> brush that I had I could have just like used one of the ones I had okay I don't know why I'm like nervous to go in but <laughs> that did nothing I don't know why I'm like okay so I feel like I got a good amount. Let's just see. This brush I feel like is too small because I don't like to like swipe because I feel like that takes product off. I like to just dab and where are you going? Where are you going? There's a mirror over here. You want to <laughs> Look at her. Layla oh my god so I'm gonna keep going with this brush on this side but I'm definitely not a fan of this brush this is too small I don't know why they would I need something a little more like bigger <laughs> pretty much so I will agree with the buildable part but yeah this brush sucks I'm gonna go in with a different brush so I'm gonna take what is normally like I use as a foundation brush and maybe I feel like this is going to work a little better I mean this was definitely more precise where this is obviously you can see it's maybe maybe a little too big okay maybe i just put my foot in my mouth let's go back in maybe they know what they're talking about <laughs> i don't know so far i'm not really like oh my god i love this like i could just continue using my regular powder bronzer and be fine this could probably be good for um oh you know what i want to try the contouring brush for my forehead and I was planning on using this for my nose as well. So let's first try my forehead. We're gonna have to blend that out. But let's see my nose. Okay, so same thing. Not really a fan of this brush either, but going back to that putty bronzer brush, I think it may be okay actually. It just kind of caught me off guard at first, but now that I'm playing with it. Okay, so before I move on to the blush, I just wanna blend all this out. I don't know, I'm just not, this is why I'm never, I'm like, I can't even talk right now. I'm not a cream product girl. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I don't know. It's just not for me for some reason. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it. Like it looks good on camera but in real life it's really light okay let's move on to the blush okay now same thing for the blush I'm like now I'm more nervous because I wasn't crazy about the bronzer mm. I'm sure most people love it it's just me just a personal preference I feel like so here is the blush again it, this is in the shade Tahiti now I didn't buy the putty blush brush that's a lot to say because I already had this small stipple brush so I'm gonna see if this will work just as good the bristles are pretty similar so we're gonna see So the shade is actually 
pretty, but again, I don't know. I'm not feeling these uh, cream products. I think it's just gonna take some getting used to. I think that's what it is. I'm sure like after using it a few times, I'm gonna be like, why did I say all that in that video? I do like these, cause that's what always happens. But first impressions, first thoughts, I'm like, uh, this is pretty though. This I like. Let me build this side up a little more. None of my children want to sleep today. I haven't filmed a video like this in forever. And the day I'm like, all right, let me film a video. No one wants a nap. I would like a nap. I don't think they understand what they're missing out on. <laughs> okay, so that blush actually is really pretty. Let's go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish and I am in the shade two medium. So I'm gonna just lightly set the rest of my face. I am just going to pat over all that before it starts moving away on me. Now for the blush palette. Can never get it out. <laughs> all right, so here is the blush palette. I think I'm gonna go in with, oh, some of these have some shimmers. Okay, I'm not a shimmer gal, but I think I'm gonna take this one down here. It does have a tiny shimmer in it, so I'm like, mm, but let's see. I really wanted to go in with bronzer first, but I wanna get all my e.l.f. products first. I don't think I have an e.l.f. bronzer. I probably do somewhere now that I'm thinking about it, but I hadn't purchased one, like a powder one, I'm trying to say. So let's just use some Hoola OG. We're just gonna set. Definitely need to blend out that blush a little bit more. All right, let's blend this out some more. Okay, we're just gonna clean up the nose here. I wanna say I like that bronzer for nose contouring, but I feel like I'm gonna be speaking too soon. So let's wait and see till the end before I confirm if I like it <laughs> for nose contour. Now I am just kinda trying to blend all this together with just my brush, not really adding any more of that setting powder on here, just whatever was left over on the brush. Let's clean up the bronzer on my face. All right, let's apply some of this mascara to my lower lash line. Brush is kind of big for like your lower lash line, especially if you have shorter lashes. It is a little big. Okay, so I just went ahead and brushed off the setting powder and then I applied some lips. I used the MAC Cork Lip Liner and then the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Soulmate. Now I'm just gonna set my face. I don't have an e.l.f. setting spray, but I have the Milani Make It Last, which I really like as well. So while we let that setting spray dry down, I'm just gonna, couple thoughts. So first, I really like the primer, this Power Grip Primer. This was, I really, really like. I felt like my foundation went on so nicely and it was just like flawless and even, no bumps or anything like that. The cream bronzers, I'm sure you guys can tell. I think I just need to just play around with them a little bit more and see how I feel, maybe with some different brushes. I don't know that putty bronzer brush, like yeah, it, I don't know, I, I, I don't, like I don't wanna say I didn't like it because it did go on, it looked nice on camera, but then it was like the way it was going on, it just, these bristles are very stiff, a little too stiff for me. So I think I just need to find a different brush and maybe I'll like the product more. The blush I really liked. This putty blush I really really liked. Again that was in the shade Tahiti. So this I liked and that little stipple brush that I had ended up working out great. So once again like I was saying I just need to play around with it a little more. This blush palette I only ended up using the shade down here but I really have been eyeballing this one and I think this is probably going to end up being my favorite one. If you've watched any of my other videos then you will have heard me say that I love a good peach blush. So that one I think I'm gonna really like. Um, this one kind of looks like almost like a highlighter. There's a really strong shimmer in there, but overall, this one I like. This one I feel like is gonna be one that I end up using a lot. This little contour brush, I don't know. I mean, it was kind of like for my nose it worked out, but like, it's, again, it's really, Diff. Like I just wish it had a little more bend to it. I don't know, but I'm gonna play around with this one some more. I don't know. It wasn't really wasn't really doing it for me, but I'm gonna play around with it some more and see how I feel about it. But oh, the mascara! I totally forgot about the mascara. The mascara. They ended up look my lashes. I mean, these are just my natural lashes. I didn't apply any falsies because I just wanted us to get the full effect of just how my lashes look with just the mascara. But now I'm thinking, let's see if we can build it. It doesn't It doesn't say that it's buildable, <laughs> but let's just see 
see if we apply, oh, never mind. I was gonna say if we apply another coat, what will happen? It's already kind of clumping. So I don't think it's meant to be like more than one coat per se. Maybe if you're very careful with that, but so this would technically be my second coat. Not too bad, I guess if you go in with a light hand, but I don't think it's meant to be like buildable. So yeah, I think overall my favorite product out of all today was obviously that primer. I think I'm really gonna end up liking this primer and I think it may even be my new go-to primer. I am interested in getting the Milk Makeup Primer and doing like a comparison and see how long they last and how well they last and how the makeup goes on. So that's probably something I'm gonna wanna try in the future near near future is to compare this one up against that milk makeup one but yeah that's pretty much it for all these elf products i'm probably gonna do a little check-in around bedtime when the girls go to bed i think i'm gonna just kind of do like a quick little snippet and see how it's looking i don't really have much planned today i'm just gonna be in the house watching the rest of the johnny depp trial and it's raining out so we're just gonna be in the house but i will come back and do a comparison and i'll put the time down and let you guys know what time it is and how long it's been hey guys just checking in in, a little break in the video it is about 6 30 ish right now yeah about 6 35 right now and everything is still pretty much intact like my t-zone is a little bit oily i just reapplied my lips but i had to i did not touch my face at all so what you see is from earlier so when i did my makeup earlier it was about two o'clock when i was finished so it's almost seven now we can say four and a half five hours ish um i just been in the house cleaning cooking watching a little bit of the trial of course but yeah I didn't do anything like hardcore I haven't worked out or anything like that but for the most part everything is still intact not no like separations or anything like that so I don't know if it's the primer that did it or if it's just a combination of everything or if the putty bronzer and putty blush are really just that great products so hard to t hard to really say since I did use everything but my gut instinct is that primer I feel like that primer was really good and like that tackiness of it really made the makeup adhere to my face a lot better so yeah here's what we're looking at about five hours later so back to the video that is it for all these elf products i'm gonna close the video out here just so if i don't do it now then i'll forget but yeah guys thanks so much for watching leave me a comment down below let me know if you guys have used any of these products which ones you like which ones you don't like which ones i probably should have just stayed away from or which ones that maybe i just like i was mentioning need to give them more of a chance but thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so give this video a thumbs up and as always i will see you all on my next one bye everyone